Let's all think back to when we were little kids. We were always asked the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Maybe you wanted to be a doctor, a mailman, a pilot, or even a superhero. Well, for one little girl, this little girl right here, her dream was to be Miss Arkansas. Your Miss Arkansas 2022, Ebony Mitchell. It's true. They say one moment can change the course of your life forever. But wait, hold up. This isn't the moment. Let's backtrack a little. Dora Mosby. This is actually the moment that changed Ebony Mitchell's life. The day Eudora Mosby became Miss Arkansas 2005, the second black Miss Arkansas. But what Eudora didn't know when winning the crown was that a normal school visit just a few months down the road would greatly inspire one little girl. Ebony Mitchell, your Miss Arkansas 2022 from Harrison. So when I saw her, I really felt like I had been seen for the first time. I went to Eagle Heights. Uh, it was my brother and my sister. I'm the youngest of three. So we were the only children of color in our entire school district at the time. And then I remember sitting in class and Eudora Mosby comes in. An interaction nine-year-old Ebony will never forget because for the first time, she saw a woman in a position of leadership who looked like her. And she made me feel like I was valued and like I was capable of doing more than just being Ebony and Harrison and that I could make an impact on the entire state of Arkansas or maybe the world one day. After that moment, I knew maybe this is where I'm supposed to be, is Miss Arkansas or somewhere in the organization. So after a year of admiring an autograph card from Miss Arkansas 2005 hanging on her wall, she decided to take the stage herself. Winning her first title and making her first trip to Miss Arkansas as a Diamond State Princess at the age of 10. Being on that stage was just, it was honestly, it was life changing for me. And it's the majority of the reason why I'm sitting here now and why I kept going on that path. But it wasn't an easy path to take. She competed quite a few years. It really was just, um, you know, a, a whole lifetime almost of years of preparation. Not winning the title until her fifth try. And while nothing will ever beat the feeling of achieving a lifelong dream, a text the day after came pretty close. Hey Ebony, this is Eudora Mosby. Um, I know I haven't seen you in a long time, but I would love to catch up with you and just get lunch or something. Giving Ebony the chance to thank the woman who changed her life 16 years ago. She was crying, I was crying. It was just, it was a moment that um, I think had just been leading up for so many years and then it finally happened that we now have this incredibly special sisterhood of being Miss Arkansas. An afternoon of grabbing lunch that reminded Ebony of her purpose as Miss Arkansas. At any given moment, I could be meeting someone who is just like me when I was 10 years old. Which she does at multiple school visits a week, getting to talk with little girls just like her sitting in a Harrison Elementary classroom. She has so many schedules, so she like fit me in with everything else, which is really kind of her. I really want to look up to Miss Ebony and be just like her, like how she's always kind to everybody, includes everybody. Reminding every student she meets that no matter where you came from or what you look like, you are capable. Anything is possible if you just keep trying and keep persevering and keep practicing at whatever it is that you're dreaming of because it's possible. Ebony has served as Miss Arkansas for about four months now. And in the next few weeks, she'll be heading to Miss America to represent Arkansas as the fourth ever Black Miss Arkansas. I think 10-year-old Ebony would be very proud of where I ended up today. Such an inspiring story and what a cool full circle moment for this little girl right here. Well, Ebony, we are definitely rooting for you at Miss America. The finals for that will be on December 15th. And a fun fact, I'm sure you saw in the video, Eudora, the Miss Arkansas who inspired her, gave her a pair of shoes at that lunch. Well, she plans to wear that pair of shoes during her Miss America interview. Covering news where you live, Tiffany Lee, 5 News.